G'day guys, M Tim Tam here. Today is the first preview render episode. Um, today I've got an entry in from a uh, Aussie who lives in Australia, Melbourne. Um, his name is Yu Wei. Um, sorry if I miss um, spelt that. Um, that's his first name and his surname is Ong Lee. Um, he's uh, 24 years old. Um, he's been studying the 3S Max V-Ray PDS for two to three years. He also knows Maya Blender, SketchUp, ZBrush and Mudbox. He went to Melbourne University and an A, i.e. graduate. Um, he sent me this uh, portfolio that he's sending around and I have to say, I'm very jealous and it's like professional, marvelous. Um, so this is the uh, first, um, let's just go through the pictures here. Um, so this is the first one in the living room. As you can see, there's some um, trees, a uh, lot of particles, or just instances, maybe. Or he could have done the manual way. Or he could have generated it. Um, let's go through him. Um, uh, he, I don't know what, actually, I don't know what was used on this. I think he was, I think he used V-Ray for this, but just the renders, on it, the renders in this one are just marvellous. Let's try to zoom in on that. I haven't used this. The detail is amazing. And this is all from the same, uh, this is like one scene put into one. Uh, the architectural design is amazing. Um, I think he used it on a um, existing project. Please correct me, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, amazing, amazing. Let's get the next one. It reminds me of Alex Roman's work, if I were to say. Um, inside interior, um, positives, like, you know, it's, um, you know, there's no... There's, there's originality in each of the scenes. There's no duplicates. Like, for instance, this bookshelf. I tried making bookshelves myself, and it's just so time-consuming. It's not hard. I mean, it's not. It's just box modeling and UV wrapping. But just having that patience and everything, it's very inspiring. Um, and the and the just keeping it all intact, and you know, keeping it proportions with the scaling. Um, it's amazing. Next, this is um this is the sort of camera angles I like. It's the sky down views, um, which really give it that professional look to it. And this design's here really amazing with the sunlight coming in. Again, we're, even with the uh, we're even with like um, the uh, the non-architectural stuff, you know, the f uh, the plot parts and everything. It's he puts detail into every single pixel. I might add. This is an ups. This is a uh, looking up view, so like you're lying on the ground. Next, bedroom. Um, like I said, very. Uh, I think those are probably IES lights. I think, but. He just puts into every uh, little cloth simulation here, um, micro displacement gr grounds. Maybe could you use particles? I don't know. Um, but yes, could have put another camera angle in there. Oh, well, that's zooming in. Sorry. And the nighttime shot with the lights. Actually, it's really good having the lights turned on because. Um, um, this photographer was taking fo photos of my um, house that we sold um, during the nighttime twilight shots. He put the lights on inside, so having using this technique in actual renders, it really gives off that professional look. And you know, he even has cars here that would have put some stress on the scene. Yeah, would have been good to have some um, sky. All right, so let's. Um, the positive is pretty much just you know awe and everything, and there's very little. Um, you know, criticisms. So let's bring out what criticisms are not general, but just me personally, which doesn't really count, but maybe something that could help, maybe. 
Um, there's one thing that um, I kind of saw here. I don't know if this is the random time, but the there seems to be a bit of noise happening within the um, windows, which you know is just it's it's virtually no nothing. But um, I don't know if this is the glass texture. Please correct me if I'm wrong. But when I first saw it, I thought, oh yeah. Um, you know, 30 minutes within Octane Render or something could have let it baked a bit more, but, um, just a little nitpick I saw. Um, textures-wise, everything's, you know, very, you know, good. It's, there's nothing to complain on this one. Um, this one, um, the thing that sticked out the most was probably this bush here. Um, I don't know, it just seems really... It just doesn't really fit, the texturing of it doesn't really fit within the scene, along with this small one here. Um, I don't know that, I don't know if it's a um, texturing problem, could have put it on the side here, but I don't know, it just kind of sticks out, it doesn't really merge within the scene. Um, this one does, but you could have added a bit more um, vegetation on this side. Um, this sign here, I don't know if it's just me living in Australia, but on this uh, left side here, we drive upwards, we drive up, and on the other side you drive down, and maybe this sign was uh, maybe put the wrong way, I don't know, um, but yeah, that's what happens in Australia. Um, apart, anything, apart from that, uh, everything's fine, everything's good. Whoops. Um, this is pretty much, um, yeah, this one's alright, um, the girl is nicely, um, uh, composited in, um, no complaints there, um, I would actually, I don't think it's 3D, but if it was, congrats, but, um, yep, yeah, very nicely composited in, um, I don't know if it's my display here, oh yeah, it's my display, nothing, never mind, never mind. Um, next, um, <clears throat> no problems here at all. This one's just marvelous. The hang on, the, there's, you can even see the detail on the actual chair itself, which is again amazing. Oh, hang on. Oh, this texture on the side of the stairs seems a bit blown up, but you know. Just my little personal thing. Alright, the thing here, this is when I really saw, I think most of the vegetation, it's really hard to merge vegetation within this thing without it popping up. Um, this is fine, this is fine, it's just this one on the side here, I don't know why, it's just, it really is, it just, I, I look, I look over in this direction, it, it, it catches my attention. Um, which, in, 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 not a negative way, but in more of a cr criticism way, these ones here fit you know, very well, um, and everything, uh, these ones here, if you're gonna have, if vegetation sticking out, I thought to myself, well, with vegetation sticking out, shouldn't there be more weeds, maybe grass, or, not, not grass, but, you know, sort of weeds growing up from the, um, uh, stones, something that I just thought of myself, the texture on, the texturing on this zone could have been more high definition, more detailed, I guess, um, but again, maybe um, uh, rocks are like that in real life. Um, no cr complaints here. This is amazing. That's a really good, um, oh, damn. A really good immersion and everything. Um, again, no complaints here. The vegetation is, um, sticks um, doesn't stick out and merges with the scene. And I really like the translucency within the. Uh, um, plants here. Amazing. Uh, next, this is no complaints. Uh, 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 I think the cloth could have had a bit more texture. It, it looks like there's just some... The, it could have used a bit more... I don't know if I can't see it right now, but it just looks like a plain velvet type of um, texture sloughed onto it. Um, again, I mean, you know, it could look like that in real life, but um, I know it just kind of looks a bit CG, I guess. Um, apart from that, the room looks fabulous. And next is this. There's no complaints in this one. Um, 
or actually not a few complaints, a little bit of ads, you know, a little bit of ads. Um, on the side of the house here, it looks very um, plain, I guess. You could have added some um, some gr um, some grunge on the edges. Grunge on edges is something that really um, gives that, that realism, that, you know, that, 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 it, this is old. This is, the, the way that it's being portrayed, it looks old. Um, and you could have maybe post, uh, it would have been really hard in 3D with the UV wrapping, but you could, there could have been some photoshopping with the edges all along here. Maybe add some weeds and such here. Um, and yeah, and you could have gone to the extreme and add some weeds in the gutters because we all know that we don't clean our gutters at all. Um, but that's pretty much it. I mean, um, apart from that, this is a really good render. Um, very professional and, um, you know, I'm very, you know, I'm just honoured that, you know, people of this talent is, you know, watching my tutorials and everything and, because, you know, my, my, most of the stuff I do is basic stuff and it's really good to see that, you know, it's, you know, I'm, I'm, my tutorials are open to a wide area of talents out there. Anyway, this is my first one. Um, please, if you like his work and you want to get in touch with him, his uh, username is oliu triple six. He's putting this portfolio out to everyone, um, and uh, maybe he might be of interest. Um, his work might be of interest to you, whether in the architectural design. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. I'll be commencing the upload of the video tutorials soon. Um, pretty much tomorrow, um, and everything I've seen to, I've lost two of my subscribers, um, I don't know why, please, if there's anything you want to, um, tell me that I'm doing differently, or something that, you know, I'm doing differently to what you've, uh, subscribed to, please let me know, um, and everything, um, see ya.